I wanted to share something with you today. Why is sin a problem? Sin is a problem because when you sin, you allow access to the enemy into your life. Now, we know that as born-again children of God, we're holy and blameless. God is one with us, and he's okay with us. And But God is not winking at sin because the problem with sin is that it is destroying you, and he hates it. He hates it because he doesn't want to see you harmed, but he loves you and you can do whatever you want to do. You have a will. So here you are on this earth realm. You have a soul that you're losing. You got a flesh that's out of control. God wants you to get in control so that you can change the course of your life and your family's life. Okay. Because your sins pass down to your children. So what is sin? Sin can be making bad confessions over yourself, murder, robbing, stealing, lying, cheating, substance abuse, some illicit affairs. I mean, it could just go on and on and on. And we all do some sins, okay? But every time we sin, we allow access to the enemy into our life to become master over us and start dominating us. So we need to figure out how to cut sin off. But it's hard by ourselves. So that's why we take it to God. We lay it on the altar and we say, God, please help us with this. Deliver me from this. This is a problem. Let him show you. Show me where the enemy is moving in my life. Show him how he's had access to me. Ask God for all the instructions that you would like to have. And he will teach you and show you. But just to continue in it is, is really a dangerous game. So sin will never be satisfied either. I started doing one thing, and before you know it, I'm doing something a little worse, and it's a little worse, a little worse. It just kept pro progressing until my whole life was in total shambles. You know, it was destroys it destroys your family, your finances, your health, your relationships, your purpose, your plan, your destiny. It destroys everything, your hope, your future. I mean, <clears throat> it's here to destroy you, so God doesn't want you to do it, but he loves you, and he's not condemning you. He just wanted you to know it don't have to be this way. Amen?